give yourself a little bit of an introduction. Who, who's Mark Sargent to, to you? Because obviously there's loads of different versions of you out there in the, the eyes of tons of people on the internet. Who is Mark Sargent? Sure. Uh, I am the freshman recruiter for the wonderful metaphorical thing that has been out there for the last five years called Flat Earth University. Um, is my stuff the deepest? Is the most comprehensive? No, but chances are if you get into Flat Earth, you're going to run into my stuff first. It is the introductory text and narrative and videos. Um, five years ago, I know you call me the OG. You know, I'm, I've been doing this, one of the people that has been doing this longest, and it's only been five years, right? You know, way back, mm. remember 2015? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, I got into it in, actually in the summer of 2014. Thought I was completely bored with just about every conspiracy you could think of. I mean, I don't consider myself a tin hat guy. But I had an opinion, you know, I was, I never got married, never had kids, and I was in the tech field. So I was on the internet a lot. And so I was in the early rabbit holes, even though I was very naive as a kid, uh, I didn't even believe in conspiracies at all until I saw JFK in the theater in, um, I think it was 91, something like that. I can't remember, 91, 92. And that gives you an idea how old I am. And then uh, I had, again, I had gone through just about every rabbit hole you could think of. And then in summer of 2014, I was like, well, I'm not getting any younger. Might as well look at this stupid flatter thing. Why not, right? Mm. What could it hurt? And it was the worst decision of my life. It was absolutely the horrible, horrible rabbit hole that just never, ever ended to where in February of 2015, I woke up, I had the Jerry Maguire moment, literally at three o'clock in the morning. And I said, Okay, I, I'm going to go insane if I keep doing this. I'm just going to go the other way. I'm going to make a series of videos, even though I've never made videos before, put them out on the internet with my full contact information, you know, phone number, address, name, mm. where you can find me, street corner I'm going to be standing on, <laughs> and see what happens. And instead of academics coming back at me and just stomping this thing into the ground, I had all sorts of people contacting me, not just people from the media. I mean, all sorts of people, subject matter experts and men on the street saying, you know what? It's not crazy. Here's why. And people just, it just started blossoming into this, this weird, the tendrils just went off everywhere to where uh, here we are five years later, three books, the documentaries, I've lost count of interviews. And uh, this is what I do. This is I, what I, I mean, do. you know, and it kind of went crazy for you really, really fast. I mean, you know, you know, yeah. you know, have millions of views on YouTube, 80 plus thousand subscribers. Yeah. Um, and how does that kind of um, one, did you ever sort of expect anything like that in terms of your own personal brand kind of kicking off? Were you prepared for such kind of fame that early on? Well, you know, that's what I desired the most, you know, the, the sex, the fame, the drugs, <laughs> you know, all, all that stuff. I really, really want it. No, uh, no, no, not, no, not at all. As a matter of fact, I didn't know, I didn't even have an idea because there was stuff happening behind the scenes that I didn't know about. Um, the first thing a lot of people don't know is that most of the hits, most of the Flatters Clues views weren't on my channel. Because I, I thought not only did I give up my contact information, I used something on YouTube, you probably know it, called Creative Commons License, mm -hmm. where I said, you, just, you know what, anyone can have it. Mm -hmm. Have fun. Go nuts. Because I wanted it to be shared. I didn't, I didn't care about the, the, the nickels. And there were people that were making, they were basically, because my, my channel wasn't even big enough to where I could make videos longer than 15 minutes. So there were people that were compiling all the clues into a two hour thing and they were putting it on their own channels. Those mm. were getting all the hits, millions of hits in these different channels. I had no idea who these people were. And people kept emailing me saying, oh, really enjoyed your movie. It's like movie, uh, 15 minutes is really a long thing. I don't know what you're talking about movie. But then finally I got tired of that. It's like, where, what exactly are you clicking on? And so they started showing me, it's like, holy smokes, this thing, this thing really, really uh, took off. And then I give you a co other quick examples. You know that that things are resonating when, um, like a, a publisher, a book publisher out of um, London, of all things, uh, they contacted me pretty early on and say, "Hey, how 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 about can we turn your clues into a book?" It's like, oh, "Okay, sure, why not? What do I have to do? Nothing. Just send us your transcripts. We'll we'll turn it into books." It's like, okay, mm -hmm. um, coast to coast, you know, with a big conspiracy uh, shows out there. 
they contacted, this, this will give you an idea. Uh, they contacted me three months after I made the first clues. And I just out of the blue, completely unsolicited. If, in fact, if I had an autobiography, if I live long enough, you know, if the apocalypse <laughs> doesn't happen in the next six months, if I live long enough, the autobiography is literally going to be called unsolicited. Mm-hmm. I never had to pick up a phone. 